This is Twit. All right, different story here. So I'm 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 going to pick this one. I'm fascinated by Google and uh, campaign messages in spam. So a yeah. bunch of conservatives went after Google, saying uh, that uh, y- you're 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 uh, discriminating against us because we're right wing. You're putting our stuff in spam. And God bless Mike Masnick, uh, the the magnificent Mike. Uh, did a great story about this, looking into it further, and finding that it was Victory, the same company that Facebook hired to go after TikTok. And what Mike says is basically, they're really bad at email. And they tried to make an issue out of uh, not being their mail getting through for their client, their Republican clients. So they made it into an issue because they like to complain that Silicon Valley is not fair to them. And so yeah. they went after that. So then Google comes back and says, oh, oh okay, we're going to propose a policy uh, to keep campaign messages out of spam. Okay, then what happens? Then the Democrats say, whoa, if, if the other side sends a whole bunch of spam crap, they should be in spam, and you just yeah. uh, uh, kneeled to them far too soon. You should hold on more. That's so the thing. it's where, another where example you, of they, they can't win. Well, that's the thing. Where do you draw the line on this? Because um, I, I, was it Jim? What's his name? Jim Norman? Jim, whatever his name. What's the guy? Jim Jordan. Jim, Jim Jordan. I remember seeing him on, on the screen fussing about this stuff. And wow. at the time, I was thinking to myself, well, maybe your email is just bad. Uh, but then again, this is this is a problem. This could be a problem for everybody, not just the Republicans and the right. This could be a problem yeah, they for should listen. They should listen to the users. Like, right. I, Mark, I can't tell you, like, I love Beto. But dear God, his campaign <laughs> sold my email to everybody and their freaking dog. Or maybe it was Act mm-hmm. Blue. I don't know. Yeah. I They're now all spam. All spam. And if mm-hmm. Google tries to take them out of spam, I will be pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's what... So, well, but I'll have you know, by the way, I just received an invitation to the official 2022 Republican Advisory Board. Lies. I'm sure they want to hear the advice I have for them. Jeff, Lies. don't go. This is definitely, they're, they're bringing you in to do something bad to you. Uh, all I have to do is take a survey, take the official survey. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting it from all over. Some, somebody, some, some wag signed me up for Trump email long ago, right? And, and yeah. thank goodness for Google, it puts it into, um, it doesn't put it in spam, or there may be more in spam, but it puts it in my, um, what do you call it? Promotions? Uh, promotions, promotions yeah, or promotions. something other. Yeah, so it's, which is absolutely. Yeah, I moved worthless. everything, everything to spam. Worthless. Yeah. Oh no, some um, of my like promotions are great. But at the really? same time, there are some people that support those campaigns that wants to see <laughs> that communication. Well, I actively mark mine as spam. Yeah. Don't I mean? So I feel like that's. Does the it disappear then? Thing. Well, it goes into spam. I don't open my spam. Oh, for you. For oh, I said, well, obviously, right. Yeah. Well, well, but when they go around, when they go to the, the next trick or the next email address or the next candidate or the next whatever, are you regularly marking things for spam? No, no, no. Really? It took a you while. You won? But, well, I don't want to say I've won yet, but yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Oh. How about you, Ant? Do you get political spam? Uh, not as much as I used to. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, I get tons. And, and, and you're right, Stacey. I get it from candidates who have nothing to do with in places far, far away. Um, you know, I've got to give to my own congressman's campaign, which I haven't done yet, which I will do tonight. I've got to remember to do that tonight. Uh, Tom Malinowski is a good guy. Um, but I'm getting him from, like, Nebraska. Why would I give to a candidate in Nebraska? <laughs> right. I, you know, it costs nothing to send it to Act Blue is kind of evil. If you ever donate through Act Blue, I think that's an issue. Oh. I'll be honest. How did, how did you track um, it down? Did you do, um, like, this is what I do for a lot of stuff that I sign up for. If I'm signing up for a service and it's asking for an email address because I have my domain, I will call the email address service at antpruitt.com. Um, and so when I see that pop up later on in spam, I just I check. Okay, this came to what email address? Okay, so 
service just so my information and then I usually cut ties with them or whatever is that how you figured it out um like yeah signing up as Stacy plus blah 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 plus you know act blue at gmail yeah yeah so yes basically creating a custom like an alias if you will yeah so here's more details of the story go ahead Stacy go you first oh no go ahead no I'm just gonna go into the details of the story I want to hear the details. What if that changes? Oh, okay. You know how I like details before I comment. <laughs> I want to know what I'm talking about. No, no. This is this is anarchy. We're reversing everything. It's upside down day. We do the blather first, then the facts. Um, so Google's plan, which was first reported by Axios, says The Verge, would allow candidates, political party committees, and leadership political action committees to apply for a special pilot program that would make their messages exempt from Google's spam detection system. What's what's That's fascinating to me about this? It it is, and the idea was proposed to the Federal Election Commission in a in a June twenty first filing, asking for their approval. Now I don't know why they would have to approve this. Google could make it a policy. I'm not sure. Um, and, and so the Google is making their request to the FEC. Uh, Greg Stoeb, S T E U B E, Republican Florida. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Mm-hmm. Was the first Republican to suggest. The GOP campaign emails were wrongly flagged as spam. Uh, my parents have a Gmail account and aren't getting my campaign emails, he told uh, Sundar Pichai during a high-level Ugh. executive meeting. This is just the issue Republican was raised whining. once again. Exactly. Uh, after a North Carolina University study found that Gmail was more likely to mark Republican emails as spam, well, because they send out 20 times more. That's why... Oh, I, I, well, based on what I get, it's they, they're they're okay. they're just constant. Well, especially Trump. The Trump stuff is just funny. You were getting the Eric Trump stuff, <laughs> and it was it was hilarious uh, for a while there. You've been selected. You can have. You can go to a golf a round, a round of golf with Dad. who's only five miles mm-hmm. away from me right now. Um, uh, I wanted to, by the way, I wanted to, on Twitter. I wanted to go. Um, uh, this is a quick January six moment. I wanted to get. They, believe it or not, there are Heinz. Adult ketchup costumes. I wanted to oh, I get a ketchup costume this. and and go march in front of Trump's golf course, which is five miles away from me. I thought that would be amusing. <laughs> Wouldn't be one of my proudest moments in life. But be in a ketchup costume? Huh? Do it. <laughs> yeah? And yeah. you'd have a Halloween costume. Uh, oh, my professor... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do it. No, but I like the idea. It was funny. So anyway, so then the Democrats are saying, "No, Google, you're buying them hit, hook, line, and sinker. They're just whining. You're doing this. You shouldn't do this." So, Stacy, what I'm hearing from you is, if you end up getting the spam you've you've gotten rid of back in your email, you're gonna be pissed. Super pissed. I worked really hard to mark a lot of stuff as spam. 